I mean, hello, am I right, guys? Like, what? Wow. Ooh, yeah. Hey guys, New Year's is upon us, and what else is upon us? This fucking beautiful kitchen set. Hey guys, New Year's is just around the corner, and before that, I have been holding off on making an incredibly special announcement, which is this shit, dun dun dun. A kitchen solely dedicated to the art of drunken cooking. Now, this isn't to say that I won't be doing appearances in other kitchens. For instance, when I work with celebrities, they usually like it if I go over to their place, and that's fine by me. They have cool stuff on the walls. But what this does mean is that making my drunk kitchen is now something I can do at a drop of a hat. I can just walk in with my little rock tail, plug in the light, and then start cooking. Also, check this out. I've got a rolling countertop. All of this was entirely possible because of Mary Darling of A Fab Life, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much, Mary, for coming into my kitchen and making it, I don't know, me? Making it just everything I've ever wanted. It's just so beautiful. If you guys want to see the whole kitchen makeover, go ahead and click here. And watch it and subscribe to Mary's channel, A Fab Life, because God damn it, Mary Darling, you are so darling to me. You guys, she really did an incredible job. Look at this, my Buckingham Palace road sign of questionable origin. Where's my cookbook? That's the ticket. Yeah. There, now it still looks cutish. I definitely need to get something that adjusts the camera without me stretching. Cool. Other things in the kitchen that I love? Well, myself. But also, fan arts from my travels. This sake set from my time in Japan. This dinosaur from the time we went to Drumheller in Canada. Fresh rosemary. Oh, shit. A bottle opener attached to the wall right here. You guys can't see it. See? That's a bottle opener attached to the wall. A working vintage stove. I just said you're working. Don't embarrass me like this. So many knickknacks. And so, so much more. This is a timer shaped like a mouse. I love it so much. Also, this miniature bonsai tree, which I really promised myself I will start, at the very least, in 2015. Anyway guys, there's this and so much more. Thank you again to Mary out of Fab Life. Thank you to you guys for giving me this fabulous life. Uh, and sticking with me through all these years, this is, I think that this is a good sign, knock on wood. I'm going in 2015 with an expectation of further good. I do recognize that there are things outside of my control, but there are things that are within my control. Like, this. I don't wanna say, I'm, I'm you know what guys, this looks so good. I'm gonna do one of those spot the difference things. Oh, that's a great idea, me! Hey guys, if you like midday mind games just like I do, we're gonna play Spot the Difference. So, I'm gonna take one still of the kitchen right now, and then post over on my Facebook page another still with six things changed. Okay? Cool. So, I'll see you on Facebook, and um, click like and you know whatnot here if you'd like to do that here too. So, have a great day. Tube in this Thursday for our January 1st, 2015 My Drunk Kitchen. Can you guys guess what it's gonna be about? It's gonna be about stretching your arms. Uh, da, 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 da. Hey guys, I can already tell that having a kitchen right next to where I keep all my props will only be good for us. Happy New Year guys, see you in 2015. <laughs> That's all folks. No it's not, there's much more to come.